Are you one of those people who believes that sugar is bad for you and high fructose corn syrup is the devil, but honey is natural and it's okay as a sweetener? If you're one of those people, you need to watch this video because I'm gonna tell you about a research study that completely disproves that. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and let's talk about honey versus sugar and high fructose corn syrup. This very elegant little study was done a few years back and was published in the Journal of Nutrition. It was a randomized, single-blind crossover trial in human beings, and it compared the physiological response to these people uh, based on whether they had ingested honey or high fructose corn syrup or just regular sugar. So each of the participants, they actually broke them down. They had 30 people who had normal glucose tolerance and they had 30 people who had impaired glucose tolerance and they excluded people who already had been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes or type 1 diabetes or were taking a diabetic medication. So these are people who are just barely hyperinsulinemic or pre-diabetic who were put into the impaired glucose tolerance group. And so what they did is they hid the sugars, thus a single blind test. The, the participants of the studies didn't know if they were getting honey or sugar or high fructose corn syrup. They mixed 50 grams of the sugar in question. And in case you didn't know, honey's pure sugar. Uh, and so for two weeks, they would get the honey mixture. For two weeks, they would get the high fructose corn syrup mixture. And for two weeks, they would get the sugar mixture. Now, during this study, they followed their blood sugar, their blood glucose, and they would check it 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and 120 minutes after the ingestion of the unknown sugar drink that they had drank. And this is a good lesson to all you guys out there who are checking your blood sugars after you eat. Many doctors still tell you, check your blood sugar two hours after you eat, and that'll, that'll tell you how your blood sugar's doing. Do what these researchers did. Check your blood sugar 30 minutes and an hour after you eat. If you really want to know what the food you just drank or ate did to your blood sugar. They also checked the participants' insulin levels at 30, 60, 90, and 120 minutes. Very telling what we see when we start to look at the results of this research. In this first graph, we see the results of the, the participants' glucose reading at 30, 60, 90, and 120 minutes. And if you, if you just glance at this and it looks like there's just one line there, that's because the glucose response was exactly the same in the honey, the sugar, and the high fructose corn syrup. And they used the, the high fructose corn syrup 55, so it's 55% fructose. So it's not the, the one that's more like sugar actually very high uh, fructose in the high fructose corn syrup. These are in people with normal glucose tolerance. You can see that they all of them spiked up to 150, uh, 30 minutes after the ingestion of their drink, and they had normal glucose tolerance. And you can see that the curves for honey, sugar, and high fructose corn syrup are almost overlapping. They're virtually the same. There's no difference. Then when you look at this graph, this is the people with impaired glucose tolerance. They had a higher spike and they had a more sustained spike in blood glucose. But again, the honey, sugar, high fructose corn syrup, there was very little difference in the spike and how long it lasted and how high it went. Now, when we look at their serum insulin levels, uh, this first graph A is the people with normal glucose tolerance they had an absolute spike in their insulin level after the honey, after the sugar, and after the high fructose corn syrup, as I would have predicted, but many people don't think that honey has an insulin response at all. But you can plainly see in these uh, people with normal glucose tolerance, they had a significant insulin spike after the drink, even if it was honey and not sugar or high fructose corn syrup. When you look at the people with impaired glucose tolerance in this graph, C, you can see that there was a sustained uh, elevation in their serum insulin after ingesting all three drinks, including the honey. And again, the lines virtually overlap for all three. You can't really tell the difference on this graph because they all are pure sugar and they're all gonna raise your blood sugar and your serum insulin level. 
They also found in this study that the triglyceride level of all participants, whether they were glucose tolerant or glucose intolerant, went up and stayed up during the entire study and then went back down uh, to the patient's previous normal after the study was finished, showing definitively that it's sugar, it's carbs that raise your triglycerides. It's not eating fat. It's not eating saturated fat. It's not eating red meat. It's not eating bacon. It's when you ingest carbohydrates, definitely when you drink them, you're gonna have a spike in your triglycerides. They also found, because they checked uh, CRP levels, which is a marker for inflammation in the body, the people with normal glucose tolerance didn't really have a, a, an elevation in their CRP level, but the group with impaired glucose tolerance had a definite, noticeable, measurable increase in their CRP during this study, which then went back down to the participants normal after the study was over. I put a link to this study down in the show notes. Uh, this is the full study, not just the abstract. So you can look over this study, you can share this study, uh, but let this study put your mind to rest. Honey is pure sugar. Honey is going to spike your blood sugar and spike your insulin levels and raise your triglycerides just like sugar and just as bad as high fructose corn syrup that you would find in a soft drink. Now, I'm sure I'll get some negativity down in the comments but from people who still believe that honey is somehow magical, somehow doesn't count, somehow is a free food. Honey is pure sugar. I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but the truth is what it is. I actually believe the myth that honey is somehow a special magical food that, that's not gonna have a negative effect on your body for years. Even back when I was paleo, I would use honey or agave nectar to sweeten things, thinking that somehow that was better or at least less bad than if I were using just regular sugar. Turns out I was completely and utterly wrong and so is anyone who says that somehow honey is not going to spike your blood sugar and spike your insulin levels and spike your CRP and spike your triglycerides because it's gonna do all of those things. I hope this video helped. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.